Uh, there were these, uh, there were these uh, two Irishmen. There were three. There were seven. There were nine. About, uh, about eleven. Uh, they weren't all Irish. Two of them were Greek. Uh, actually, there were thirty. Uh, thirty Irishmen. Uh, Thirty-seven into Freemasonry. Uh, okay, they're about forty. They weren't about forty. They weren't like the doctors. And there were about uh, 50 Irishmen, or at least 60. Because you don't forget a thing like that. Uh, okay, they're about uh, 70 or, uh, or 80. There were certainly quite a few. Uh, which is fine. Uh, tend to congregate in groups of the hundred. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, matter of fact, uh, I remember now, it was just one big one, as a matter of fact. Uh, And in fact, he was uh, Pakistani. <laughs> what it means. An albino. Uh, with a Pakistani accent. Which is fine, because I tend to congregate in groups of one. A <laughs> large group. Yeah. But uh, he was wearing a green t shirt. And his name was Trevor. Uh, this goes into quite a bit of detail, so I'll just continue. Uh, actually, basically, uh, the point is the barman, right? The barman turns to Raylene Boyle and he says, he says, uh, he says, he says, he says, Rayleigh Boyle, I have no idea why you learned to run so fast. It's not as if any men would run after you. <laughs> Which is, I feel quite safe saying that because uh, she's not here. <laughs> and uh, she used to be my father, but that's not. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes in, uh, in Sydney tonight, which is in Australia, um, there's a festival on tonight called, uh, apparently it's called the Mardi Gras. And I just don't like the, I just don't like the title very much. I just think it sounds like gay. <laughs> but I don't mean to make, uh, what I don't mean to make any of you uh, or jealous or even, or even suicidal. But I actually... Uh, I live in a part of Sydney that would make some of you jealous. Uh, I live in a very nice part of Sydney, it's called Blacktown, I know 210. Actually, I think there were three Irishmen. But uh, yeah, anyway, I live, in, uh, I live in Blacktown, and I don't know if you know this, but if you come to Blacktown, we now have a nice uh, revolving restaurant, um, which may sound fairly classy, but you have to get out of the bush. In case you're wondering, quite quite. <laughs> and, uh, and unfortunately, it's actually a square building. I just find that a bit racist. I don't know the right word, but it doesn't matter. So they're nice when they're off. But uh, seriously, though, uh, yeah, I was walking down the main street of Blackhand today, you know, if you get a thing like that. Uh, well, it's not really a road, it's more of a sort of, a, more of a sort of pit. A lot of my friends are actually afraid to walk the streets in Blacktown, which surprised me um, because they're mugs. <laughs> but it uh, turns out too, in case you're wondering, uh, they're actually employed by the council. Because uh, in Blacktown is uh, progressing, we're moving forwards. Starting, mur uh, starting Monday, murder is illegal. So that is something to uh, look out for. But uh, yeah, yes. I mean, why would we forget that? But uh, we had a nice, we have a nice, uh, we have a prison in Blacktown now. Uh, but there is a waiting list. Uh, well, we did have a prison until someone nicked it. Which is, uh, which yeah, I, I think it's a crime. Is that wrong to say? No, of course not. But uh, yeah, matter of fact, uh, matter of fact, having a prison. I, I, in fact, I think all prisons should be knocked down and removed and done away with because they just seem to attract a very low class of person. <laughs> my, in my flippant opinion, excuse the language, particularly use of the word flippant. Like that now, the F word has gone rampant, everyone's using the F word. In fact, even the letter F is appearing in many more words than it used to, um, which is just something I say. I mean, who, uh, who, uh, who are they? That's what I'm wondering. Because, uh, you 
people, new people, new people don't know there's a, as you know, there's a bit of a cover-up going on, but you wouldn't know. But uh, trust me, trust me. Um, I mean, the, all cover-ups eventually fail. I mean, now people know about Black Gun. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you know this, but now, we're, these days, we're, thanks to all the genetic engineering they've been doing for years and years, nowadays, when a, when a, baby, when a baby is born, it usually comes out fully dressed. <laughs> and will cut its own umbilical cord, and then you go off to law school. But of course, the doctors won't tell you that. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you that the royal family sprouted tail during sex. Because, I mean, even when Prince Charles wasn't in the country, they wouldn't say that. But uh, I think they do. So let's all investigate that. You first, I'll go after you. Hey, I'm not putting my neck on the line for that. You know what I mean? And, uh, don't, be, uh, don't be frightened. I don't single people out, you know what I mean, mate? I'm not. We've got a small round of applause for this man who just clapped. I'm going to go say, you clap too. That's not, that's cheating. That's uh, security. But, uh, that's right.